Hey, i45 here with uh, Tristan Nathan. Uh, really cool um, video I just came across that I want to uh, share with you guys. Um, it's called Swarmanoid. Uh, it's a collection of three robots. You messed this up before. We keep going. Yes, I did. I messed it up really bad because I couldn't remember what they were. Because okay, there's a hand bot, a foot bot, and an eye bot. So you know, pre pretty technical names here. Three feet. We should have done that. Foot. Foot. <laughs> <laughs> but the really cool thing is that uh, having having a look at the movie and stuff is that. The basic idea is that they had to go and grab a book from this other room using just these robots. Right. Now what they've done is they've tried to make it very much more of a swarm intelligence type thing by using these three types of robots. So the iBot is one that actually flies around. So it, it flies up really high and then surveys the land and everything and then gives that information back to the other robots. Right. Now then the footbot is the one that actually like, you know, drives around and then it can pull in the other robots. So it pulls the other robots around. So you can see here that like, yeah, here's a video of the iBot connecting to the them. ceiling. No, no, that, that's just kind of the scout. So imagine the iBot is the scout to go in and to observe every bit. Then it just goes and sits up there, connects itself to something. Then the foot bots go and go in and start setting up a, a path to actually go through. And then the hand bot comes in and actually starts, you know, driving through, getting pulled by two other foot bots that connect to it. And then that pulls the hand bot in to actually go up to the bookcase. And uh, oh, then grab it the book. grab the book. It pulls itself up. It actually uses a plunger to go to the roof and it climbs up. But the real reason that I love this is that it's um it's a swarm intelligence type thing that they can just start using all just different go parts. Out and get stuff for exactly. Them. You've got dedicated robots um, doing just their part for the swarm. I mean, you know, the, the basic idea of like, you know, the scouts, the locomotion, the actual hands. Yeah. I mean, this is a great prototype for things to actually start with. I mean, I'm talking about, say, like, you know, disaster things or anything like that that you could, you know, do even small, like, you know, little snakes slithering in to make up the whole thing, and then that re relays the information back to the the rest of the swarm and then say maybe some diggers come in, <laughs> clear it all out. Imagine this just in military applications. Yeah, exactly. It's brilliant. I mean, I'm sure they've already got that in some sense. They must. I mean, imagine Predator Well, at least it's all coming that. together. Yeah, predator drones go out and scout it out and then yeah. the Hummer drone? <laughs> imagine Hummers as like they must robots. Have that. And like they the cars. They charge in and then like a bot comes out the back of the Hummer and goes yeah. down and like... <laughs> and then... <laughs> I can't wait. Well, I, I can't I wait. I can't wait. It's scary. Well, yeah, yeah, incredibly <laughs> scary. But for, for the potential upside for it, that well, what I'm seeing with this is that what we're, it's going to end up happening is a standardization of like you know the robot swarm. I mean, like you know, there's the nano cloud and all of that that can do anything. But I think maybe the step before that is that it's going to be like there's oh. robots are going to have their own specific purposes and then they're all walked together. Like it's the swarm that's put there and then just yeah. different parts go out. It's like playing an RTS. Like it's like playing a, a, a fucking real time strategy game. Yeah. Because you just use the right robot for the right thing except the swarm does it all together. It acts as one unit with tons and tons of pieces. Well imagine if the, um, the algorithm just changes dynamically. Yeah. Like if, if say, if, say if, like this is obviously, this swarm intelligence is obviously an algorithm of some sort. Yeah. Saying yeah. do this, then do this, and everyone yeah. do this. Um, but imagine if they hook that up to the internet and maybe there's like another group of swarm robots somewhere exactly. else in the world that as, as they've been interacting within their environment, they've learned that, hey, doing this is bad because it ends up with a repercussions yeah. here. So they, they dynamically alter their <laughs> algorithms and then automatically share it to, <laughs> to, well, to the rest of the swarm. The, the rest of the swarm around the world. Yeah. And they just incorporate that algorithm and then use it based on, <laughs> it, like, well, yeah, if they encounter the environmental situation, then use it. They know algorithm. exactly what to do. Oh. It's perfect. Why they, do they do that? They're, it's incredible. No one's doing that. Well, they've got to standardize it. I think that's the key thing here is that once they've worked out the bare minimum different types of robots that allow it to do anything in the world, yeah. so it has to be able to do anything, um, then I think once that's standardized, then you can start getting all of that going ahead. Because even now, these are pretty clunky, but if you did have basic ones like, say, a flying robot like a drone, yeah. maybe a, a snake type one that could slither in and actually see stuff that way. standardizing the hardware. Yeah, standardizing the hardware into different into the yeah. different categories and then start sharing that. I guess that's a bit what, um, the, what is it, Willow Garage with the PR2 yeah. robot? Yeah, yeah. Trying to standardize, here's some open source, single mm. robot, you just play with the software. Then, yeah. Like more little things. But, well, are well, they could, selling these? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't think so. I think this was just a. Um, it was a research project by the European it's, Union. Or well, imagine if they sold them as kits, like a yeah, make your own robot. There's three types. Yeah. And they act in a swarm manner, and then they do that global interconnected share your algorithm thing. I, I, we need to find them for a, a used a, a problem that they can solve right now, because then we could get it out AIDS. there. And, well, AIDS could be a big thing. It's difficult with robots, though. Hunt down all people with AIDS. <laughs> Jesus. Well, that's one way. <laughs> 
Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> if there is a solution oh, for, the, for the robots doing something, like even the, the fun drones and stuff, like lots of kids now and all of that, are, well, adults as well, I really want one, like, you know, the quadricopters, like, yeah, I think yeah. they could be a nice platform to start with, but you need them to be able to do other things, because they're still not really robots, they're just flying around doing whatever. It's all fun and games until the swarms turn on us. Well, exactly. <laughs> until, you, until your quadricopter suddenly becomes this, like, you know, suicidal thing that just charges at you and tries well, to take some, out your eyes. Imagine some malware downloaded, like, to the... You you find a way to actually put malware into it where yeah. it turns them around and say, Yes, running into the humans repetitively is a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when they're asleep. So there you go, you're asleep in the moment, you bzzz, it just comes up, then lands on your face and just tears you to shreds. Be damn good fun. Or you can just like run into Transformers or something. <laughs> exactly. Blow up, attack all the infrastructure. <laughs> they, just suddenly, they just suddenly go for all the power plants. Oh man. Good Holy fun. Holy shit. Good fun. That's it. That's a terrorist move, that is. <laughs> it really is. Well, we need the standardization first, so if anyone has an idea of like a robot that could be used as the standard to begin with, Create it, become a trillionaire. It'd be great. Mm, control the world. Mm. Yeah. <laughs>